welcome to a new Plugin Guru video. My name is John Skippy Limkul. Welcome. How are you doing? Hey, so Unify 1.1.7 is out and Cloud City is out. And so I thought now would be a good time to do some revised videos uh, showing features, how things work, starting with installation from ground zero. Like this computer right here doesn't have Unify installed on it. So we're going to install it here together. You can see the process. I'll explain a little bit about where things go help you out along the way. Make sure that you get this installed. So we have a demo version you can see right here. You can try or you can go to the full page and from here you can buy it. I want to just briefly point out that we are $79 for Unify. We promise to never raise that price or lower that price. Um, I'm, I, we don't subscribe to the whole let's make it $200 and then twice a year make it, you know, $59 or whatever. And then when we really get desperate, put it on some site for $29 to try to trick people. It's forever on sale at $79, no matter when you buy it. So you don't have to wait for a sale to buy Unify. So once you add to cart either the demo or the full version, you need to do a little quick registration with your email address. We send you the links. If you buy Unify, we also send you the license with that link for the files to download. So you get that links in that email only work one time and then they expire. You can re log in to your account like this. And as soon as you've logged in, you just scroll down to and you'll see libraries you own. See right here, it says Unify Standard Edition. Here's the Mac or the Windows version of the plugin. And then the Unify Standard Library, you need the standard library, plus either the Mac or the Windows version, depending on what computer you're using. In the computer I'm using, I'm using the Mac version, so I have downloaded and I have unzipped the uh, Mac and the Unify Standard Library Guru. So they are right here. Now, if you keep scrolling down, here's your purchase history, invoicing, and license keys. So I'm going to go right here to this one, and if I click, I go to this page where I can see. Now I'm going to blur this out, but you click the little yellow key. I actually need to copy this because I do not have Unify authorized on this computer. So there. I have it in my clipboard, so I'll be able to use it in a minute. So we can have that go over here. Now we're ready to open up Unify Mac. If you can see right here, we have a couple of things that I want to point out. You can see a README, which has uh, the contents for running Unify for the first time, instructions. I also want to point out that we have bundled into Unify some third party plugins from some wonderful developers. This is what makes Unify so unique is that it has, I, I've created a whole bunch of libraries. So there's samples from 12 different libraries, three and a half gigabytes of data in Unify. But on top of that, we have, a, a, I lost count of how many plugins on top of that. But the blue ARP is the arpeggiator that we have for our MIDI effect. Um, Oleg, this wonderful developer, he gave us permission to include it. And it's actually more powerful than the arpeggiator in virtually every plugin you can find. It can do chords and random and arpeggiated melody lines all within a single arpeggiated pattern. 64 steps, it's, it's insane, it's really, really cool. So that is included. We also have DX, which is a DX7 FM synthesis plugin, which is highly regarded as one of the best out there. Um, OBXD is right up there with the big guys when it comes to the Oberheim analog kind of sounds, it's wonderful. And Digits is phase distortion synthesis, like the Casio phase distortion. Um, it's a really cool, unique kind of a sound. It's really cool. Loudmax, Thomas, this wonderful developer in Germany has given us permission to include Loudmax, which is like an L1. Loudmax Maximizer keeps, I put that on the output of every patch because then it won't go above zero dB on your mixer when you're working with it. Those are all included with Unify for free and are installed when you run the installer. Also right here is an online owner's manual. Uh, Shane has been working his little self to get this all done. Um, you can get downloading and installing information here. All the way through the step process that we're going to go through is here in documentation. Um, if you have other questions, you can also go to the PluginGuru.com website anytime. Click contact and that will take you to a place that you can send an email to me. It will get to me or to Taylor, my assistant, and we will help you out very quickly. All right, so let's install this. So we go Unify Standard, continue, 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 agree, install, put in my password, and it will go through the process. Close. Cool. So we can close this, put this over here because we're done with that. Now, so this way you can go to Applications, 
If you don't do this, you can also go go to applications right here, type in U in, and there's Unify. So we say open. And it's going to ask you this question at the very beginning. This question is in regards to the data content, the three and a half gigabytes of samples, patches, MIDI files, any libraries that you download and install in the future will also go into this folder. So that folder is going to grow. So you can say, let me choose if you want to place it on an external hard drive, or you can just say default location if you have space in your internal hard drive. I have space on the internal hard drive, so I'm going to say use a default location. It says time to activate Unify. So we say OK. It runs Unify, and it pops up this page to authorize. I'm going to use authorize online. I'm going to blur this so you can't see the numbers. But I click validate. It will contact the server. Boom. And it says next, you need to install the library. So this is just the plugins. We haven't gotten the actual library installed yet. That's what this Unify standard library.guru file is. And either we have it because we've downloaded it, or we could download it now and it will start downloading from the net. So I'm going to say I have it. And it will pop up in a finder where I can choose it and install it that way. You also can just say cancel and drag it and drop it and say OK. And now it will install all the 505 patches, all the samples, all the MIDI files for MIDI box, all that stuff. And when it's done, we will then have the ability to play this without scan. You don't need to scan any other plugins. Even if you have a whole bunch of plugins, you don't need them for this to work. It will work all by itself. I'll show you how it works. And there we go. New content installed. When you say OK, it's actually going to open the browser and it's going to hit the little lightning bolt. Anytime that you have changes to the library, you can hit the lightning bolt to refresh the browser. And there it is. So you're done. It works. Now, after you've played with all these patches, once you start to see the flow of how this works, if you want, you can install your own plugins. And there's a couple ways to do it. You hit the little plugin icon right here. You can do the brute force. Just say, scan them all. And you can choose audio units, VST, VST3. I want to point out for VST, that's the plugin format we use for all the plugins that we support. So in the future, if you want to download some of the libraries we've created for Serum, for the Melodic Techno Library, I'm working on an orchestral library for the BBC Discover library from Spitfire Audio. You have to have the VST version of those plugins to work or you'll get an error message. Cloud City doesn't require anything else. Cloud City just works with Unify with no other plugins necessary. But if it is a library that uses another plugin that's a commercial plugin, it has to be the VST version or you get an error message. Uh, we just have 100% compatibility between PC and Mac if I save it using a VST plugin. So you have to use a VST plugin to play them back. We actually recommend instead of doing the brute force to go here and just install a handful of plugins, maybe some of the Valhalla's. You can choose whatever you want. You can choose synthesizers. Let's say we want these guys uh, and Serum and Serum Effects. So I take these 10 plugins and I'm going to say install. And they have just been installed. So maybe starting with just a handful of plugins. If you want to start, you can just drag them in one at a time. Or you can go to the plugin page and say scan all at once. And it will take a while. It actually runs in the background, which is cool. So I could put this right up here. And then I could go back and I could play through all the factory patches while it's scanning away in the background. So that's the basics of installing. Um, I'm going to stop right there while it's scanning in the background and say thank you for your business. Thank you for your interest in our plugin. More videos are to come and uh, we'll see you soon. Okay.